Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the United Vet Riders second annual car show. Boy, you guys are in for a treat. You're going to love every moment of it. Strap up. Get some popcorn. This one is going to be a long video. See you after the intro. second annual United Vet Riders car show. We're gonna take a look at some of the vehicles that are out here, mostly Corvettes, but nevertheless, when I tell you I've walked around already and I've seen some of the vehicles that are here and I am truly impressed. So come with me while we go take a look. I'll give you an overall shot as well. And we'll look at some of the wonderful features that each one of these cars have that makes you go, I think I can add that to Lavetta Marie. So we're gonna do a quick little shot right now as we take a look around at all the vehicles that are here. And then we'll go into detail as we'll stop by each one of the vehicles and take a look and see what we have and how we have it. Can you see this? Can you see what's here? Can you see what's going on? And it is a scorching 100 degrees and we're still out here to support one another, to go ahead and have a wonderful good time and to show off our wonderful vehicles because that's what a car community about is about. A car community is about, hey, what is it that I can do that the manufacturer didn't do that can add a little more oomph to my vehicle? So that's what we're gonna take a look at. Come along with me while we'll go take a close up look at each one of the cars that you've seen behind me. See you in a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And when I tell you the crowd has gotten a little bigger, so we're gonna walk around and take a look at some of these Corvettes that are out here. I've seen some beautiful, beautiful cars and I'm gonna get you guys' opinion. So make sure you drop a comment down below. Woo! But when I tell you, I am also competing in this car show and I have already seen my number one contender. I'm gonna let you guys guess which one it is and you shoot me down in the comments. So I've done this car show before and when I tell you they do the C8 Corvette in a separate category. So I will only be competing with any other C8 Corvette. But let's take a look at what we can see out here so far. It looks like we got an HTC over here. I believe that's a Long Beach Red with a peanut butter interior and a gray racing stripe. camera probably shows this as white but it's um, ceramic matrix gray and I, I don't think I've ever seen one in, cup, in person but I like it I like it I like it a lot especially with the yellow calipers shout out to st. James Parish Sheriff's Office for keeping it safe out here he's got a silver engine cover This gentleman here has show lights on his hood. Check them out right there. And when I tell you, I love it. I would love to see this at nighttime when he has the show lights on and popping. I would love to see that and see how that looks at nighttime. V8 engine with 495 horsepower. Looks 
like it's the 70th anniversary edition and I can see that it is red on red. Let's take a look at this interior. Like, and let me tell y'all, I love the idea that I even got to walk on the red carpet, that red carpet, to even get to the car. I love it. go from the other side but you can even see that it's full of carbon fiber as well and look look at those doggone grommets that I am missing all right ladies and gentlemen we had to take a break when I tell you the feel like temperature out here is about hundred and ten degrees so my camera was overheating just from recording and walking around so there isn't enough breeze not enough clouds too much Sun and too much heat but we're going to continue our tour of the um united vet riders car show second annual one and show off some of these beautiful cars that we have out here now i'm gonna do some overall shots too because some of the ones that i took earlier whew, more cars have shown up and as you can see we even got a couple of slingshots here and I'm really confused on exactly what to call it because I don't know if you've ever looked under the hood of a slingshot, but there's an entire car motor under there. Some states classify it as a motorcycle. Some states still classifying it as a car. I don't know. I get confused on whether or not you should have to have a helmet or not. All I know is it's three wheels of fun. I will say that because I have driven one once before and I was actually only already even approached uh, by one of these slingshot owners to do an interview on camera. So I'm gonna see if I can find them and see if we can get that. But when I tell you, I have three favorite non-Corvette cars out here. And I'm gonna show those to you right now. And here's one here. Looks like we got a green Charger Scat Pack. 392 horsepower it's really well kept I can't say anything about it other than it's a sedan um, but it's a, it's a sedan with a sports car complex so it's absolutely beautiful car Let's check out the interior right here can't beat that and this is also one of my favorite vehicles the Chevy SS, it's a convertible pickup truck. And when they first came out with it, okay, so you got the retro look on the outside and that took a little getting used to, but when I tell you when you drop the top of this vehicle, it is unmatched. I don't think they sold very well. I put some statistics up here on the screen, but when I tell you, I still love this, this truck, this convertible pickup truck. Absolutely love it. This Jeep right here. It's just something about when all of the doors are off on the Jeep and you have this white exterior and this red interior and that red interior really makes this freaking Jeep pop. And the oversized wheels with these fuel rims and I don't know what size they are looks like they're 24s but it's a definitely a beautiful vehicle I would never want to get it dirty and I know some Jeep riders like to go mudding in their Jeeps but I would never get this dirty it's actually a clean nice looking vehicle and I know there's something with the duck that's in the window I can't remember what's that about but I know there's something with the duck it looks like they got their duck. And those are my top three other vehicles that are out here at the United Vet Riders second annual car show.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, the car show is over. And guess what? Guess what? I lost. Yeah, but that's okay. Let me tell you, I never go into it thinking that I'm going to win anyway. And because I won first place last year, I already knew that there was going to be stiffer competition coming from my throat. And when I tell you, did they come for it? They came for it. The first place winner for the C8 Corvette was the uh, Red on Red 70th Anniversary Edition. All carbon fiber on the inside. Uh, uh, natural red dipped interior. All red on the outside. He had, And look, I don't even know if I got an opportunity to show this on the video, but he had rim center caps mounted on the seats. Oh, I wish I could have got a picture of that. But when I tell you, okay, so before he got there to register, I thought I had it in the bag for first place compared to the other C8s because the other C8s were either coupes or HTCs with nothing special. When he showed up and laid out a, a red carpet for his Corvette that was red on red, I said, oh, he got it. With um, Lambo doors and the, the freaking center cap on the seat. Like, I knew he had it. So I'm not hating at all. But I thought I had a strong second. So when they were announcing the winners and they didn't call me for second place, you should have seen me put my tail between my legs, put my head down and start walking. But uh, I did get a participation prize and <laughs> oh, this is it. And I'm not mad at it. Look, I always have a good time. It was triple digit heat. I got some new subscribers, so thank you guys for signing up. I got to talk to some old subscribers too. Um, one who, which was on his way to work, he just dipped through. Uh, so shout out to you, you know who you are. When I tell you, I always still have a good time. And that's what it's all about. You get car cleaning tips, you get accessory tips. Uh, I was passing on information that I had, especially with the people that came with the HTCs. Uh, Y'all saw all the other cars, so I'm not upset about not winning. It's a little disappointing, but nevertheless, I'm not mad at it. The first place guy, he really, really did deserve to win. He goes by the nickname of Showtime. I wish I would have had the opportunity to talk to him, but y'all, when I tell you the actual temperature was 100 degrees, the feel like was 115, 125. It was really unbearable, but we all were out there fellowshipping and coming together over cars, and that's what I go there for. So guess what? I may not have won a trophy, but I succeeded in participation. So it is what it is. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I appreciate all that. I appreciate all the love that I got out of the car show. I am rushing now because unfortunately, I gotta go to work so I can pay for this bad boy. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.